Hello and welcome to the Imaging Wire show. My name is Brian Casey. I'm managing editor of the Imaging Wire. We've got a great episode for you today. Our guest is Dr. Sonia Gupta. She is chief medical officer of enterprise imaging at Optum. Dr. Gupta, thanks for being on the show uh, with us again today. Thank you so much, Brian, for hosting us. So we're going to be talking today about cloud imaging and radiology. And there's been so much discussion about the cloud uh, that's been kind of swirling around the last year or so. And it seems like attitudes in radiology toward the cloud by, by radiology providers are changing. Is that something that, that you're seeing out there? Yeah, I think we're seeing that as well. You know, I think most people are surprised to learn that 90% of healthcare data is actually imaging data. And healthcare organizations are seeking improved ways to store that data, manage it, and even gather insights from the information for population health or oncology. And, you know, using cloud technology also allows uh, organizations to do automatic updates, you know, just the way Gmail and Netflix work for us. And, you know, it's really about improving the technology for the entire system and getting things modernized. And one thing that I'm really excited about is our Stratus Imaging Archive, uh, which, you know, an archive for image storage. And it was built from the ground up and, you know, it's used as highly secure cloud native architecture. And it allows for, you know, management of all of this imaging data. And the data is actually stored redundantly across multiple geographically distributed data centers, you know, through our partnership with Google Cloud. And that really helps ensure that there's, you know, continuous uptime. Uh, physicians are able to get these images when they need them. And, you know, they're fully encrypted for security as well. And uh, we've been really excited about the reception to the imaging archive. You know, there's 126 hospitals that are already live with it. And uh, it's holding more than 10 petabytes of data and 155 million images. That's really hard to believe. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it just continues to grow. Uh, there's an increase in 6 million studies per month uh, that are getting stored into this archive on the cloud. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so we have RSNA coming up in, in just a few weeks. What are some of the trends that you're expecting to see at RSNA? Do you think that uh, the cloud is going to be prominent again? Yeah, absolutely. I think we're going to continue to see, you know, an acceleration of the existing trends that we've seen over the last few years. You know, organizations moving to the cloud, but then also, as we know, AI is, you know, always the area of most excitement. And we're starting to really see more AI adoption for workflow and diagnostic assistance as well. And there continues to just be generally increased uh, interest in AI platform options. What are some of the, the use cases for AI that, that you're most interested in? I mean, there's so many different applications of it from, from point sources for analyzing images to, to image reconstruction to workflow. You know, what are some of the areas that, where you think that, that AI is really going to shine at RSNA? I think we're going to continue to see what we've seen just in the last few years. Initially, there was a lot of VC investment that was directed towards AI solutions that helped us make a diagnosis. But then we've seen this shift where there's been more investment now towards workflow. And you know, part of that reason is we have increased imaging volumes. We have a workforce that's challenged you know, with burnout. And we really want to focus on administrative tasks so that we can spend more time on patient care. So I think that's been the biggest trend and change I've been seeing with AI that I'm most excited about to see more of a problem-based approach. Like what problem are we trying to solve with our workflow where we could apply AI? It seems like like the AI developers are targeting things that radiologists need a little bit more as opposed to just sort of stuff that they can they can find data for and train an algorithm on. So that's nice to see. Yeah, it's been great to see that shift. Yeah. So what about Optum strategy? You mentioned um, that that healthcare produces so much or uh, that radiology produces so much of healthcare's data. What's Optum's strategy for helping their customers manage these large amounts of data? You know, we are focused on a cloud native strategy for sure. 
and through our partnership with Google Cloud, helping these organizations manage that data and to be able to get insights from it. And also, you know, we're using the cloud to make the process quicker, you know, being able to load images more quickly when you really need them. So you're not sitting there waiting for that time, which, you know, we always forget it multiplies over the course of a day. If a radiologist is looking at over a hundred studies per day, you know, that latency period adds up. For sure. Um, what to, in, in, in cybersecurity, uh, you know, you, you mentioned cybersecurity a little bit earlier. Um, what sort of uh, um, things are going on in cybersecurity in the cloud that, that people might be interested in? Well, you know, we know that the cloud is more secure for storing and accessing healthcare data rather than on-prem solutions. And that's a reality that we're seeing more and more healthcare organizations and health systems figure out how they want to handle that information, you know, and move to a cloud partner. Um, any other trends that you think that are going to be prominent at RSNA? Yeah, a lot of the large PACS vendors uh, are interested in expanding to the ologies, as we like to call them. So not just managing radiology imaging, but a true enterprise solution that manages radiology, cardiology, and uh, potentially pathology as well. It seems like there's been a lot of stuff, uh, interesting stuff going on in pathology where they're now able to digitize whole slide images and that's opening up a lot of things like uh, AI for pathology. Do you, I, I know that the RSNA is not really a pathology show, but uh, do you expect to see advances there as well? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think that they, pathology is where we were when we were moving from film to packs. You know, like you mentioned, they're starting to digitize these slides and, you know, use uh, enterprise solutions that can combine this pathology information with radiology and put it all together. And there are algorithms out there that AI developers are working on that connect that pathology data to imaging data so that you can predict potential disease or disease burden. And I think it's a really exciting area. And although, you know, RSNA is focused primarily on radiology, I think we'll start to see more and more of a pathology presence there this year and in the coming years. Both radiology and, and pathology are, are kind of um, two different arms of diagnostic medicine. Yeah. And you're seeing a lot of, you know, multi-cancer blood tests and, 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 and things like that that can detect the presence of, of potential cancer early when you can then, you know, forward a patient to... Uh, radiology to really interrogate them and, and find out, you know, where the, that cancer is. Anything else that we can expect to see from, from Optum at RSNA? Yeah, we're excited. Uh, we're going to have our pathology partner just out there as well, uh, you know, to respond to this demand for digital pathology and uh, excited to see how that goes with our customers. Great. Any other thoughts on where, where AI is heading? I mean, this this really could be a watershed year at RSNA for AI in terms of you know, implementation and, and increased clinical use. Yeah, I'm most excited to hear more of the do's and don'ts of cloud adoption. You know, now that we have more deployments out there, you know, about 30% of radiologists are using AI in some way, but more and more are planning on using AI. You know, learning from those who've deployed the algorithms, gone through the change management, you know, had them out there for their physicians to use, how that's been received. I think that kind of key information is really helpful. And then, you know, we continue to see the market trend of consolidation. Companies who offer maybe one or two very specialized algorithms getting acquired by a larger AI company uh, or potentially, you know, an AI platform that's increasing their offerings with other partners. So that's also something to watch out for. I think we both know, you know, over the years, you see the number of booths for AI, you know, they're from, you know, it grows, gets really large, and then you see, well, a few of them aren't there anymore. You know, maybe they'll come back because of that consolidation. So it's just been interesting to kind of walk through that section of RSNA. But now the AI is just not even in one section. It's really pretty much everywhere. And, uh, you know, it'll be at our booth too. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of the early days of PAX. Uh, when you do you remember the info rad exhibit when they put all the pack stuff down in one little little corner <laughs> and then after a while everybody realized like well pax is everywhere image man digital image management is everywhere you can't just you know put it off in one corner so i, I it, it feels like ai is the same way i mean it's kind of ultimately becoming becoming everywhere 
Um, are there? Do you think there's benefits to uh, to, to a cloud architecture in terms of using AI? And, and, and if that's the case, what, what do you think they are? Definitely. I mean, you know, like we discussed, it makes it more secure if you're going to have multiple AI vendors potentially. So from a security standpoint, and it definitely streamlines the deployment. So it can certainly help. All right. Well, uh, Dr. Sonia Gupta, thanks so much for being with us. I'm looking forward to seeing you at RSNA and checking out everything that uh, Optum is showing. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brian. You bet. Signing off for the Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey. Hey.